guys, so we're doing a take two on reviewing the Crazy Rumors Ruby Red Grapefruit. Because the one that I reviewed before, I'm going to be careful not to mix up which one's which. This one, as you guys may already know, if you watched that first review on it, had zero scent whatsoever. Nada. Which I thought was very, very strange. I have never encountered that from Crazy Rumors before. And I asked you guys if any of you had encountered this with that one. A few of you had, and a few more of you said that it was very faint on yours. So I was like, that's interesting. I'm going to reach out to the gal that runs this company because that doesn't seem correct. So I reached out to her, and indeed, that is not correct. <laughs> however, however, um, in my particular case, possibly user error, I didn't realize mine had been sitting around for as long as it had before opening. I apparently ordered that in 2018, when I looked at my order history. Oops. <laughs> and apparently it slid to the bottom of the drawer. I remember that order now, like it was yesterday, I ordered that right before that surprise trip out to Arizona. At which point, there was about 20 packages from different places that came in while I was gone. So when I came home and put everything away, it wasn't right at the forefront of my consciousness like my crazy rumors orders usually are. And I totally forgot about that one. But it didn't seem like that long since I'd ordered that one. But either way, user error on my part. But she is so sweet and she sent me a replacement anyway. And I just love her and her entire brit. She's wonderful. She even sent in some other freebies. Just, I love her to bits. But anyway. So we have a second one. <laughs> to play with that is nice and fresh and new. And the other one's gonna go in the trash as soon as uh, I'm done filming here. Uh, but yeah. So. Take two on this. This has scent, so we're in business. Uh, <laughs> Packaging-wise, I showed you it in the other one, but I'll show you it again real quick. Um, Format-wise, it is a stick. La 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 la. No wiggly trim wheel. Cap is fine. Uh, price point. Why do I always forget the damn price point? I know it's not very much. It's like about three bucks, I, I think. I think. Um, like two fifty or three somewhere in there. But anyway, uh, size-wise, 0.15 ounces. They are organic. Um, the ingredients, again, are macadamia seed oil, olive oil, uh, shea butter, candelilla wax, soybean wax, non-GMO, uh, jojoba seed oil, carnauba wax, aroma, natural flavors, coffrol, and stevia. So, <laughs> um, it is Leaping Bunny certified, cruelty free, um, I believe it's vegan, uh, but yeah, anyway, so, we have a nice new one. It's not limited edition, no SPF, no medication, so, down to the part of which we were all actually wondering, what does it smell like? I will say, even with a brand new fresh one, it is a light scent on this one. Which is so surprising, because usually grapefruit ones are overpowered like crazy. Not this one, though. I'm interested to see if once I put it on, if more scent's gonna come out, but... But yeah, some of you who had newer ones that said there is a scent, it's just faint. I'm like, okay, I see what you're talking about now. But that's okay. Actually, it's kind of refreshing because of how overpowered they usually are with this scent. That actually, that's not a bad thing. You can smell it once it's on and everything, so it's not like it's too weak to smell or anything. But yeah, so thickness-wise, it's pretty thin, very creamy, uh, very moisturizing, hydrating, all the good stuff, not sticky at all, love it to bits. Um, it does have a shine to it, in case anybody's curious. I'm gonna go ahead and do the drinky test. I do have some red wine I'm doing it with, so if it stays on through that, it'll stay on through anything. And it stayed put. So, okay. I think in my updated score for this one now, <laughs> now that I have one that we can actually smell, um, because it is a fainter scent, I am still going to count that against it because usually crazy rumors are pretty, 
pretty strong with their scents. So I was just like, huh, that's all right. But it's not bad. I mean, what is there definitely smells like a grapefruit. It's just like a soft grapefruit. It's like a pastel grapefruit, if you will. Uh, <laughs> so I'm trying to think if there's anything else I would dock a point for. I don't think so. I mean, maybe, maybe the lack of wow factor because of it being such a soft scent. Okay, so, but that still leaves us with an 8 out of 10, which is still very, very good. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to go in and update my score on the yearly scorecard where I track all these and then announce them at the end of the year. Yeah, this is better than the other. Just saying, this is worth buying, especially if you like the idea of grapefruit but want one that's not quite so in-your-face vibrant, not so kick you in the nose, this is a good one, actually. This is a very good one. And unlike Burt's Bees, it doesn't have that, like, funky, like, undertone to it that I feel like a lot of organic brands that attempt to do grapefruit tend to have. That is not present here. And that is a big point for it in my book, because a lot of us like, ooh, what is that? <laughs> it's, it's not in this one, which is wonderful. So, anyways, thank you for watching the updated review on this. I just had to set the record straight there, including the fact that, what's news error on my part? But also letting you know that if you have an older one of this, apparently the fragrance does disappear. Which is strange, because I've never had that happen with one from her brand before, and I've had some for a considerable amount of time and still use them, and it didn't seem like anything faded, so that's why I was so shocked by this one. I was like, wait, what? It disappeared, like, into thin air. But anyways, that is it for this one, guys. So as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddit, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you'd like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.